Hey everybody, thanks for joining us again. It's time for, actually I'm gonna have my friends here, my kids, introduce the time. You wanna try it? Sure. Welcome back to Storytime with Josh. You wanna do it? Welcome to this, back to Story with Josh. <laughs> Storytime with Josh, and I've got... Kyla. And Caleb. Yeah, we're back again, and we are excited to do another story with you guys. Uh, I put a, a request out to see what story you guys would want us to do, and we had two people ask for the same story. Uh, Taylor, Alex, and Jesse asked for Jonah and the Big Fish, and Malachi asked for Jonah and the Big Fish or a story about ninjas. So should we do a short story about ninjas before we do a story about <laughs> Jonah and the Big Fish? So hard. Okay, we'll take turns making up this story. So I'll start, and then you fill in the next part of the story, and then you fill in the next part of the okay. story, and then I'll fill in the next part of the story, and then we'll, be and we'll just go around like that about ninjas, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. So one day, there were three ninjas. And they were both red, blue, and gray. Red, blue, and gray ninjas. And then... They were fighting each other. They were fighting each other. So red, green, wait, red? Green and... No, no, red, blue, and gray. Red, blue, and gray. But there's three of us. And there's three ninjas. So mm -hmm. which ninja are you? Um, the blue. Which one am I? Um, the gray. Which one are you, red? Yeah, because look at your outfit. Here, stand up for a second. Why? So they can see your red outfit. Stand up real quick. Stand up. So Caleb's the red ninja, I'm the gray ninja, and Kyla's the blue ninja. Okay, and Caleb, Caleb, Caleb said we were... You said, you said the ninjas were fighting. Ninja time. Okay, the ninjas... We're fighting. And then what happened next? Let's say The blue and red ninja won. The blue and red ninja won? They beat the giant ninja. Okay, you guys beat the giant ninja. Oh, no, oh, no. But the giant ninja had a sneak attack. It's the ninja tickle. <laughs> It's the great ninja Ron with his ninja tickle. Okay, that was our ninja story. All right. Awesome. Well, we also had some friends that we wanted to say hi to. We have Brooklyn. Say hi, Brooklyn. Hi, Brooklyn. Risa. Oh, and Malachi, thanks for the suggestion for a ninja story. That was fun. So we've got Brooklyn, Risa. Say hi, Risa. Hi, Risa. And McKinley. Hi, McKinley. Hi. Did you say it? Yeah. Did you say it? No. McKinley? Hi, McKinley. There you go. And Gracie. Hi, Gracie. Hi, Gracie. And then also our friends, I think you know these friends, Ezra, Charlie, Titus, and Eliza are watching. So hi, Ezra. Hi, hi Charlie. Hi, Charlie. Say hi, Charlie. Hi, Charlie. Hi, Titus. Hi, Titus. And then hi, Eliza. Hi, Eliza. And I think that's all of our um uh, new friends that we didn't say hi to last time who are watching. So now we are going to read Jonah and the Big Fish. This one is in Read Aloud Bible Stories, volume four here in this book. And it's Jonah and the Big Fish. And this story comes from Jonah one, chapter one and Jonah chapter two. Sound good? Mm -hmm. Okay. Jonah and the Big Fish. Jonah was not happy. Oh, oh no. He was not happy. Have you ever been where you weren't happy? Nope. Well, yes. Yes. I accidentally said that. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Can, can we pretend like we're not happy? Can you pretend like you're not happy? Oh, that is a pouty face. Goodness. How about yours? Oh, you still look a little happy, Caleb. I can look that happy. <laughs> oh, you just spit on me. 
<laughs> it was an accident. Okay. He's laughing so hard. That's not social distancing approved. Okay. He was not happy. Jonah was not happy. Jonah said, I don't want to do what God says. I will run away. Do you see the picture of Jonah there? Did you see it? Absolutely. Did you guys see it? He does not want to do what God said. Step, 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 step. Jonah hurried down the road. Jonah got on a boat. Away went the boat on the blue water. God saw Jonah go. God knew what Jonah needed. Have you ever not wanted to do what God said? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have you? Like, yeah. Yeah, that was foolish. It is and, foolishness to and not it's do. And foolish means like not obeying and mm -hmm. Yep. Have you ever not wanted to do what God said? What's an example of something that God tells you to do that sometimes is hard to do or that you don't want to do? Um, for me, pick up my room. I don't want to pick up my room, but I sometimes don't do it. Did God say pick up your room? <laughs> no, he did. I do. God said obey your parents, right? Yeah. That's a hard thing. That's probably a hard thing for you too sometimes, right? God tells children to ob stuff. obey their parents. Pick up stuff. Pick up stuff. Obey their parents. Some people don't even believe in that. The true God. Yep, and that's sad. So, God sent a big wind to help him. This was helping God teach Jonah. And the big wind went like this. Can you guys do that? Make sure you're not blowing on anybody. But go. Yeah, can you make your cheeks super windy? Like that? Well, <laughs> careful where you point that thing. Okay. God's wind blew on the water. <gasps> Blow your wind on the water. There you go. Here, I'll move this. My Dutch brother's cup. Okay. <gasps> God's wind blew on the boat. <sighs> Can you blow on the boat? Oh, yeah. That's what it was like. Yeah. Can you do it? Blow on the boat. Oh, it's windy. It's windy in here. The water went splash. Everybody got wet. Have you ever gotten wet from the splashing water? Yeah. Yeah. In the, cruise, in the pool. Doing... In the pool. That's right. And the when you're doing the like water show at, on the cruise. Oh splashed, yeah. The... I got soaked. Yes, she did get it. She went down to the soak zone. Okay. The men worked. Did you guys see the picture? Did I show them the picture? No, I can't remember. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Because you guys blew on it. Okay. The men worked hard to make the boat go, but it wouldn't. The men were afraid. <gasps> Have you ever been afraid? Yes. Have you ever been afraid? I've been afraid of the dark. Afraid of the dark? I've been afraid of scorpions. Afraid of scorpions? I have am. you ever been afraid? What kind? You guys tell me what you've been afraid of. They're going to tell us. Okay, on the count of three. Tell us what you've been afraid of. One, One two, two, three. <gasps> Did you hear them? Yeah. Oh, wow, yeah. I can understand why they'd be afraid of those things sometimes. They, so these men were afraid because of the wind. They said... Here it is. I can't remember if I keep showing you or not. Okay. I want to make sure you get a chance to see the pictures. Somebody has done something wrong! That's why this big wind is trying to upset our boat. Who is it? Oh, they're so scared because the wind is going to break their boat apart. Oh, see that? No. Oh, no! But then something... Something's going to happen. <gasps> then Jonah said... I did it. I was trying to run away from God. Is that a good idea? No. To run away from God? God is always with you. Can you run away from him? No. Can you get away? No. Why? Because he's always with you. How? Um, he can teleport. What? He can teleport. He can teleport? <laughs> How does he teleport? Does he use portals? <laughs> God is everywhere all the time. Do you know what that's do you know what that's called? The big word for that? There's a big word for God being everywhere at all the time. Spirit. Omnipresent. 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 That's right. Can you say it? Omnipresent. That means God is everywhere all the time. So you can't run away from God. That's nope. That's not um, wise to try to run away from God. But he said, I did it. I was trying to run away from God. Just throw me into the water. 
Then the wind will stop. The men worked hard to make the boat go. I can't remember. Did I show them the page? I keep forgetting. Yeah, yeah, you did. I did? Yeah. Okay. Well, now they got to see it twice. You guys got to help me remember. Here, I'll show you this one up front. Okay. They threw him in the water. The men worked hard to make the boat go, but it wouldn't. So they did what Jonah said. They picked him up and they threw him into the water. Splash! Can you say splash? Splash! Splash! And then, please, oh, what do you see in the water? Fish. Fish. And Jonah fish. and fish. And bubbles. And bubbles, that's right. And you guys see that? Fish. The fish, I know, but they're letting them see the fish this time. And the bubbles and Jonah. Yep. <gasps> the wind stopped going. <sighs> the water stopped going. Splash! <laughs> the big storm went away. All of it. Whoa, it's super calm. Super calm. Wow. Can you believe it's that Can calm? Can we time? Yeah. Oh, should we be quiet and calm? Do you, is there a signal that I tell you guys when I want you guys to calm down? What do I do? I might go like this, or I might go like this. Do your parents have a signal if you're being rowdy that they tell you to do if they want you to calm down? What is it? Should we all be calm? Okay, yeah. this was hard last time. Okay, be quiet again. <laughs> it's hard to stay calm, okay. but look at what God did. He made the water all super calm. Can you can be quiet. Look me in the eyes and be quiet. <laughs> oh, you're out of it. <laughs> My, face you My face makes you laugh. Can you guys be quiet and calm? Look at us in the face and be calm. Do you think they did it? Well, what is yes. that face? <laughs> you think they did? I don't think so. Oh, oh, wow. Look at this. Now, God knew what Jonah needed. God sent a big fish. Can you guys make fish faces? Can you make fish faces? You know how? Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah! Ooh, I, I, I squeaked my lips. Can you do it like this, Caleb? No. No? Okay. Oh, Can you do it? Is. That's a good fish face. Well, this big fish opened its mouth wide. Is it a shark? It's not a shark. Big it's fish. A whale. a whale. Well, there's some debate about that. I think it's just a big fish. It gobbled up Jonah. Some people think it was the Goliath grouper, but that's it. It gobbled up Jonah in one bite. My phone keeps dinging. There we go. It gobbled up Jonah in one bite. Oh, one bite. Oh my! Imagine, Did that? Imagine me eating you. That would be. That would be a miracle. Or you eating me. That would. Me. That'd be kind of gross. <laughs> okay. Did that help Jonah? Did it help him? Yes. yes, it did. Here's it the helped him fish. learn his lesson. It helped him learn his lesson. And he was in the water and he was sinking to the bottom. And in the Bible, he's, he even talks about how like he was about to die in the he water. He And he Right. And God sent this big fish and it was a miracle that God used the fish to save Jonah's life. God did help him. And what's really interesting is a lot of people try to explain the science. Well, it had to be this so that Jonah could live because otherwise he would have died. But you know what? The whole thing was just a miracle that well, God was that God was saving him. That's a thing right there. Well, no. so this is inside. These are like supposed to be the fish's ribs. And bones. And bones. And bones. Yeah. See, it's inside his tummy. It's inside the fish's tummy. Mm, yeah. I bet you it was yucky in there. The next thing Jonah knew, there he sat, safe inside the big fish. It was dark. It was wet. Jonah didn't like it in there, but Jonah was safe. Because God saved Daddy, him there. Um, 
I bet you it's probably even grosser just from the in real life from the picture. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. It's probably a lot grosser. Yep, oh, even more gross than the picture. Down, down, down with the fish. Can you guys say that? Down, down, down. down. Can you say that? Down, down, down with the fish. Down, down, down with Jonah. Then Jonah talked to God. What is it called when we talk to God? Praying. Praying. Can you say that? Praying. Praying. Like this. Yep. Yep. You guys know what it's called when we talk to God? That's right. Praying. It's called praying. Yep. That's right. Even said it, so. Help me, Lord, and I will do what you told me to. That's what Jonah prayed there. Help me, Lord. His prayer was a little different, but that's similar. This story is just trying to help us understand what happened. Now, God knew what Jonah needed. Right, buddy? Right, Caleb? He knew what Jonah needed. Oh, did we show him Jonah praying? There's Jonah praying in the fish. Yeah, I think you showed it with the mask. Okay. Hey, leave those alone, bud. There you go. Good job. Now, God knew what Jonah needed. God told the fish, take Jonah back to the land. Do you think the fish obeyed? Yes. 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 Yeah. He did. He did. Yeah. The fish did what God said. After a while, it opened its mouth wide. Oh, Can you do that? Yeah. Ah. Can you open your mouth wide? Yeah, the page ripped. We taped it. Yeah. Can you open your mouth wide? Ah. Ah. Can you do it? Yep. And the next thing Jonah knew, there he sat on the nice dry sand. The fish threw Jonah up. He might want to take a shower after all that. I think that would be a good idea. I bet yeah. you he was pretty stinky. <gasps> Jonah stood up. He looked around. He saw the blue sky. He saw the sunshine. He saw the trees. And he thanked God. And then, we ripped a lot of pages on this book. We must have really liked to read this one. Jonah went, step, 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 step. Jonah went up the road to do what God told him. Step, 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 step. Ah, he did it. Step, step, blah, blah, blah. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> this is like the, the ninja attack. And he went to Nineveh. Okay, what did we learn? God knew what Jonah needed. I know he needed um he needed his he his sad because he had nothing to do. Oh, he was sad because he had nothing to do. Um, I feel like he learned his lesson and he obeyed God ever since then. Well, he did. Yeah, Jonah's kind but of an interesting story. He's hiding from God because he he eventually went because Jonah. Because God told Jonah to go where? Do you remember? Nin... Nineveh. 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 That was close. Yep. And did Jonah obey? He didn't want to go to Nineveh. No. He didn't want to tell them about God. And so he disobeyed. Was that wise to disobey God? No. no. no? What if we don't understand God's instruction? I don't think Jonah understood all of God. I mean, he knew what God was telling him to do, but he didn't think it was the right thing to do. What if we don't think that what God tells us is the right thing to do? That's sin. That is sin. And what do we need to do instead? Obey. We need to just obey and trust God. Is God trustworthy? Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. He is trustworthy. We can trust him. And so God knew what Jonah needed. And so he sent a big wind to help. God knew what Jonah needed. He sent the big fish to help. God knows what we need too. He wants to help us obey him. Right? Because that's that's when we're being wise is when we're humble and submitting, obeying God, right? That's when we're being wise, when we're doing those things. So we can trust God. We shouldn't try to run away from God. We shouldn't try to do things our way. We should, we should trust God. What are some ways that you guys can trust God? Um, by trusting God what his plan for us is. That's a good way. Mm -hmm. Do you have any ideas of what we can do to trust God? Um, Obey him. Yeah, obey him. That's right. How about you guys? What are some ways that you can trust God? Yeah, I think that, that I think that's really good. I think those are good points. Yeah, mm -hmm. obeying parents is a great way to trust God. I done almost. Obeying parents is a great way to trust God. 
right? Listening to your teachers and being faithful with your homework or your chores around the house or different responsibilities like that is a great way to trust God, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he's trustworthy. We can always trust him. All right. Well, that was, that was good. Uh, Malachi, Taylor, Alex, Jesse, thanks for recommending that story. That was a lot of fun. I like that yeah. story a lot. I love that story. Yep. Any last things we want to say before we're done with this Bye. story time? Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching. Yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.